What's up y'all? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alexandria and I have been living out of a Honda Civic for the past couple of months now. And so in regards to that, because of the fact that I do, well, I think in general because I do that, but also because I do a lot of winter camping, one of the most common things that I get asked about is showering, how I shower, where I shower, how does that all go down? So that is what we're gonna be discussing today. Okay, so this is literally gonna be how I shower inside a Honda Civic. Now, a couple of things. I've also, I've got a hand warmer in my hand. So if you see something, that's what that is. First, I don't always shower inside the Honda Civic. That pretty much happens in these types of weather conditions for the most part. So there are times where there's other options such as truck stops, campgrounds, showering outside in a tent, showering outside without a tent, you know, if you're in the wilderness or there's no one really around you, like all kinds of things. So the showering in the Honda Civic like physically and in particular is specifically when it's super cold outside and showering in a tent is like nah i'm not down and when i'm far away from campgrounds i'm kind of in the middle of nowhere and that's not really going to be a thing and i know there's like a lot of people who would just be like well you know you're camping it's fine you don't need to shower yo when you have been hiking or climbing all day and you just get really gross I'm sorry, but sometimes I'm still trying to shower because I got to sleep in the same sleeping bag until I can find a public laundromat to wash it. And sometimes that takes a while. So I'm not trying to get all sweaty and gross in that sleeping bag that I got to use tomorrow. And I will also be the first one to tell you that this setup is like not exactly, it's not optimal. It's not desirable. It is pretty uncomfortable, but, but my friends, it gets the job done. All right, so here she is, the beautiful Honda Civic. Already got some water heating on the stove back here, but first let me show you the space that we're working with for a shower. It looks kind of crazy. There's the bed. This folds over, which I will have to set up for the shower. It's starting to snow. Ooh. So the main supplies are right here. Uh, I can't even feel. You'll see in a second. But basically, main supplies are right there. I'm right there. So then these crash pads, they ride around back here on the daily, but I will take them out for showering so that I can utilize all the space on the bed. And if I have a tent set up for supplies, these will go in the tent or they'll just go on top of the roof right here because I'm gonna open this. And usually when we sleep, we will open this and crack it for some ventilation. But then when there's snow or rain or something, it's nice, you can still crack this and put the crash pads over it. So then the water and snow won't get inside the car. Next, cracking the sunroof for some moisture ventilation while I shower inside. Okay, so now just real quick, we are about to set up the bed area back here. There's all this going on. So here's the bed. I do have a video of how we set this up. If you want to watch that, I will link it. I think it's over here or put the card or whatever it is. And then as far as important topics go, I know that privacy is gonna be one of them. So in the van that I have, the windows are not tinted, but in the Honda Civic, they are. However, I've still done the same setup of these Reflectix window covers. So let me flip you around and show you how this works. Cover fitted to that size and shape. Sorry, my hands are a little frozen, so it's hard for me to feel what I'm doing and look through the screen at the same time. Oh. Look, that wasn't too bad. There we go. And just like that, you got yourself some privacy. So here is the left side. I've put the window cover in there too. So this is what it looks like on the inside. We do have one for this back window and then these four windows. So two on this side, two on that side. And then in the front, we just have the typical um, like yeah. And if you guys have been watching my videos for like a while, trust me, I myself feel a little ridiculous for making what feels like a hundred shower videos, but inquiring minds want to know. And this one is just like a tad bit different because let me show you inside the vehicle. How's were now they're on the roof doing their job and 
here you go. Here is the shower setup. Right here is just a weed pressurizer sprayer with like a kitchen sink nozzle on it. I do have a DIY tutorial of how to make one of those for yourself if you are interested. And then this right here is just an inflatable pool that I think we got from Walmart at the time. I did not know that they made those like foldable pet pool type things. So that might be a better alternative. However, I already had this at the time that I discovered that. So we're just sticking with this for now because it's already purchased and it is what it is. It also does a really good job dual purpose of at night, we'll put it on top of the crash pads so that when it rains or it snows, it'll keep those dry and the snow will just collect on the bottom of that. got my pot of good temperature shower water. Normally what we'll do is like boil some of it and then use whatever room, I would say room temperature, but we're not in a room. So whatever temperature the water on hand is at, which is usually pretty cold, they make a good mix. And we'll fill up one of these pots and that is plenty for a shower. I think normally I use about half a gallon to shower if I'm gonna wash my hair, which I try not to do in here because that's kind of, mm, that's extra. Then I think at that point it's about one gallon. So that's not too bad either. Half a gallon, one gallon to shower. So right now I'm just, I'm not gonna wash my hair, especially because it's a reason outside. So I've got my half gallon and I'm gonna get ready to shower. Yeah, that's too high. On days like today, where it is snowing outside and beautiful, but a freezing, we will start the car just for a shower to run the heater so that we, you know, when you take your clothes off, you ain't gonna freeze to death. Okay, obviously there's only so much you're about to see as we continue this process, but this area back here, like I said, not the most comfortable, but I've got all this space to dress and undress, or actually the opposite way I would undress to get in the shower and then after to dress. So this is how much space I've got to work with as that's happening. So not, again, no, none of this is ideal, but it's actually a decent amount of room. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and get inside the pool so you can just get like a size reference as to how much space is in here and I will even show you how this is done. Okay, so, ta-da. <laughs> you pretty much get in here. I'll show you this part in a second, but you're kind of squatted throughout the whole thing. So you're squatting however it feels comfortable for you. I'm only 5'5", five five, so it's still kind of a mission for me. Jonathan is 6'2", don't know how he does it, but sometimes he manages. Yeah, when I, when I shower, I sit down even though it's the in the water and you it's sit? yeah like, I just like sit right this? in the middle really yeah like I sit Indian style. Indian style and then when I wash my legs I get into a ball <laughs> okay I don't do that because I don't want to sit in the water and get cold so I crouch I guess there's different methods for different heights all right doors are closed heater is on it's shower time so all my window covers are up the front one too this is open but i mean ain't nobody gonna be peeking in from the top otherwise like what that's crazy and this is open as i said earlier just because moisture you know so yeah this does feel a little silly it is a little silly but life is silly so you got your weed pressurizer as i said the water's already in there Ooh, that feels nice and warm and then you just put the top on twist it closed twist it closed i can't even talk like because my nose and my mouth are so frozen Okay, so I've got the top on. This one, this brand, you have to unlock this. So there you go. And then just give this a couple of pumps. It makes some crazy noises. Sounds like a seal or something. Okay, so me personally, I try to limit the amount of time that one, I ain't got no clothes on because it's cold. And two, that I'm actually in the pool because the water is warm once, you know, it's on you and stuff. But pretty much once it gets into that pool off your body, it gets cold real quick. So I'm not trying to be in there for very long long so I like to wash my face first before I even you know do the rest of it all right let me show you water pressure after this thing has been pumped see really not that bad I'm gonna just wash my face real quick and as far as soap goes it's Dr. Bronner's because I know that's gonna be once we get to the last step of this that's gonna be a question is how to dispose of the water. I will show you, but 
essentially just here we go washing my face i know nobody really needs to see this but i'm telling y'all i know that this sounds ridiculous this is why i didn't want to make this video and i really hesitated for a really long time because i mean look at me i'm squatting literally squatting crouched over in a honda civic in the back of a honda civic with an inflatable pool and a weed pressurizer spray thingy with a kitchen sink nozzle attached to it like what is my life what am i doing like people are not even gonna believe that this is real and why would anyone do this like i don't know i can't really answer that i guess i'm like trying to see the world or something and i'm broke so then after i wash my face i dry it off because i don't know to me it keeps my body a lot more the temperature regulated like i've gotten used to the water so i'm about to just get in the pool finish this water up do my thing and i will see you after the shower all right i'm officially all done and good news my hand warmers are still going strong which is great because now it's my turn to go wait outside while jonathan comes and showers inside the car so i'll show you this process this always looks weird when there's people camping next to well actually most of the time when we're camping next to people we don't shower like this because then there's a uh, showers at the campground oh and the reason that i mentioned the soap earlier is because dr bronner's it is okay it's biodegradable so you can pour the soap out and it's fine it's not gonna like kill anything which is super important not trying to do any damage you feel oh i put my hand warmers in my shoes and it feels so good on my toes <laughs> that is pretty much it y'all that is how we shower in the Honda Civic and as I said I know it's crazy it's ridiculous but it is what it is it works I feel clean I feel great and now I can go to sleep in my sleeping bag and not feel dirty and gross so that's what's up this thing is like falling onto my eyes but at least it keeps me warm anyways so that is all I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you next time Cardinal Oh, what's up, bro? So pretty. We interrupt this program for Cardinal in the snow.